Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with the boys that we go by, the three amigos. If you watched episode number two to the very end, Dion was about to tell a story where before I rudely interrupted him and said, stop, 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 stop. Let's make that video number three. So Dion, please tell us your story. Howdy, I'm excited to be here. I like this topic because I'm going to talk about a mortgage at 3% interest available today. No, come on. 3% mortgage today? Can't be. Today. Today. Okay. All right. Today. Tell me about it. This is gonna be My favorite word when it comes to real estate investing, because it was uh, part of the biggest components to the 2008 housing crash. Hmm. Last year, we saw mortgages like this that were 2 to 3% of the total number of mortgages two years ago now. Now they're up to 15. Oh. Last I heard was 12, but I, I watch your content. And so I trust the 15. Uh, so it's growing. <clears throat> but I have a friend that's in a mastermind group with me who is a lender. And they have a product available on an adjustable rate mortgage. Okay. 3% now. Oh, no. Um, and then, I mean, he's got a good sales pitch. I bet. It, well, I bet. it, ha it goes up a cap of 2% <clears throat> in two years. Okay. And then a cap of 1% the year after that, a cap of 1% the year after that. So it can only add four points to that. So it would be a maximum of 7% for the length of the loan. So here's how he's pitching it. Rates are 7% right now. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to get four years lower than that with a cap of seven? Sure. So I think we're going to see more products like that coming out. Uh, undoubtedly. I've, I've had conversation yeah. with lenders much the same way. Uh, so Dan, I'm just going to push back. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to say, why wouldn't you do that? Why aren't all mortgages like this? They should be right. Because it lets you buy more house today than you can afford when you're paying the 7%. It's one of the reasons people do it since homeowners buy on payment. And we're thinking, yeah, it'll get me rates to where they are in four years. Uh, but can you afford that in three years or four years? Will your life situation be the same to where you can stay there? First question for me is always going to be, is there a prepayment penalty in case I refinance to a fixed rate if rates go down? Um, the answer is so yes, find that there's, out a first, there's a prepayment penalty. Almost always. Yeah, right. Um, but that's what happened before. And then you're going to hear, well, you'll just be able to refinance if, oh, if, if you can't handle it. Because what if price are, prices are flat or, or do go down? What if rates keep going up? Yep. You change jobs, change careers in such a way that it's not in the same industry, like all kinds of things that can happen. Right. Uh, so my, my one word answer to this is no. Yeah. Run. Yeah. <clears throat> Lumberjack, you and I have been around a while. Um, we, we remember you were, you were seeing the tail end of the last one. I remember the run up. I remember getting pitched these two and 28s. <laughs> I mean, I had a broker. I mean, they were clearly paid more. The uh, the that movie that came out, the Big Short, they were they were yeah. incented to sell this garbage. They were, and um, I remember doing the math because I was a I'm a numbers guy. And I'm like, but I can't pay the twenty. I I can pay the first two years, but the next twenty eight years I go bankrupt. Why would anybody do this? Oh, don't worry. As Dion said, you'll just refi. I'm like, that sounds like an awful interesting bet. Um, but yeah, what do you think about these arms uh, origination? Last uh, last full year was 2%. Now they're up to 15% quoted by Mortgage Bankers Association last week. So 15% of orig originations, let's be clear, not total loans. It's 15% of last month's originations. 2027, Lumberjack Manward, thanks you. <laughs> we have a rental ready and we'll buy your problem. Exactly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for creating stupid products. Here's the thing though. This particular product, my understanding of how this one works is it's got the five, four, three, two, one reverse ability to refi, meaning that you have to pay a 5%, 4%, 3%, yeah, it's 2%. Called a, it's a five, four, three, two, one step down. Yeah. yeah. So a step down, that's percentage of the loan that you have right. to pay in order to refi. Right. However, because I'm a math guy, I would look at it and say today, right now, does this deal cash flow at the seven points that I'm getting? As an example, exactly. Exactly. if it cash flows on the seven points that I'm getting, I'll do the deal because I don't care. If it's based on from today and I get four years of discounted rate, truly I get four years of discounted rate, but my only, my only qualification for that is I have to cash flow at the seven. 
yeah, this, this is what mi- this is what most people miss and and you just nailed it if you can do the deal at the highest like is every loan every adjustable rate mortgage now by law has a cap mm-hmm. has a cap so if you can figure out the cap and you do a great deal at the cap i have less of an issue i have less of now again remember what matt just talked about he's an investor in this scenario this right. is not a homeowner Right. That's the difference kind of between Dion and Matt's natural reaction. Dion was talking about the homeowner. Can you afford this at seven? You can at three. That's what burned homeowners. That's right. And back to video number one, where the person was betting the farm on a major crash. And I'm like, you're not going to hurt investors. You're going to hurt homeowners. That's right. Arms hurt homeowners right. more than it hurts investors. Because again, we are going to run the numbers at the highest rate. And then we'll get four years of, of goodness. Exactly. We look at it and it's dollar cost averaging. It's recognizing that, okay, I'll take a four-year discount. Thank you very much. And then if at that time I can afford the seven because I get four years of rent appreciation, even if it's flat, not likely, but even if it is, that's fine. If the property has gone down 10 or 20% in value, I don't give a flip and flippity flip. Doesn't make any difference. It doesn't, it's, there's no calling the loan. Yeah. Makes no impact. So that's where, again, from a homeowner perspective, a non-math investor this is going to create inventory for me in 2027. Yeah. It will. So there's a couple yeah, there's a couple of things about this. First and foremost, I want to be very clear, you know, while Matt is getting excited about the opportunities for 4 years of discounts, I want everybody to hear me. I will never do this. I don't overthink it. I want 30-year fixed rate. I don't want my payment to change. I want no future risk. Now again, Matt is absolutely right. He's he's frank, frankly he's the smartest of the three amigos, <laughs> hands down. I you know Dion's the lazy one, and I'm the guy that's just like I want to go play and try to find stuff. And you know I I, I don't want I don't want to think anymore. Right? It's just like I want to go find creative ways to buy stuff. So yeah, it, I get it, but I don't want it. I, thirty year fixed all day long. I will never do an arm. Nope, never. Mm-mm. I don't care if the arm is zero percent for five years. I'm not doing an arm. I don't have to. <sighs> I don't have to agree. So agree that you don't have to, but that completely flies in the face of best use of capital. Right. Doesn't it? Dude, you don't understand. I just need to add a couple of year. I'm good. I don't need to overthink it anymore. I'm not in growth mode anymore. Pretty or fixed all day long. Dion, tell me I'm wrong. You can. It's okay. No, I, I like simple. You guys were telling me last year to, to, you know, cash out, refinance a property. And I'm like, I don't want to think, I don't want to have that money to put to work. I mean, I haven't purchased it's still the right time. idea. I'm just telling you, <laughs> <laughs> you are, that, you're going to find a deal this year. That's like, damn it. I wish I had two extra 200,000 bucks. He's, he's, not, even shopping, no, I, Mike, he's not even shopping for that deal. Cause he's an honest man. He's not even shopping for that deal. Cause if he found it and he couldn't, do yeah. it, he would tell us yeah. and that would be awful. So there's literally a half a million dollars sitting in an account right now telling me, Oh, go find a deal. So I'd have 800,000. Yes. That wouldn't have changed anything. I, I My search right now doesn't have an upper limit. I'm looking at everything in my market that comes out because my lenders have said, even without my W-2, as long as it's not a primary house, I can buy anything I want because they're going to factor the rents in. Right. If I want to live there, now they're going to look at my cash flow. But you're talking about um, never doing an arm because you don't want to think about it. Yeah. I, I agree. I, I I could I could completely handle if I find one that made sense at seven, do an arm now and just plan out. I don't want to think about it. I'm losing. I don't want to think my binder strategy has to work these four years because in four years I'm going to be there. Rents have to stay the same. I'm always investing like I expect rents to go down, even though we've never seen that. Um, we're we're yeah, gonna have I'm, to get I'm Mike. A, I'm a pass. It's it's probably, you know, think of this. There are people right now looking at an arm expecting to have their job in four years they can get laid off yeah. two of the three millionaires on this video today are already laid off yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. i'm losing mike to lazy this is a bit concerning <laughs> i just choose to focus elsewhere and, and my question is is when does he get the honorary bathrobe because <laughs> i'm just thankful that he has his studio away from his house so he has to, he has to go out in public and I know his senses will not let him go out yeah. in public in a bathrobe like that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And, and again, you know, for us, it's really funny because, you know, one of the things that we talk about most often is the, you know, growth mode versus not growth mode. We grew yes. a ton in the last two years. I've literally looked at it and said, 
I really want to deploy my capital differently. I really want to deploy it to rehabbing units and doing them and being done with them because that's yeah. that's the thing that eats at my brain is I have a unit that's not done the way that I want it done. Right. So I can put my name on it and say, this is an inherited unit. I make that distinction with my people all the time. Listen, that's an inherited unit. It has not gone through the lumberjack system. When it right. goes through the lumberjack system, we get to the other side. Then that's a unit. I literally never take call. Like we, if we look at the units that we Did have. Did you buy 42 doors this year or the last 12 months? Uh, no, no. 35. More. More, more than 42 more doors. Than 42 doors. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you got, you got a, uh, you got to chew on that a little while. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and that's one of the things when we had the conversation with the bank, the bank's like, so what's next on the docket? And I was like, nothing sexy. They're like, yeah. no, like, what are you looking at? Rehabbing units. Yeah. You're not going to, nope. Mm -mm. So, nope. I if mean, the deal, if the deal prints money, yeah. I will stand at the end of the printer. Outside yeah, of, of it printing money, I want to reinvest my capital because I have all this make ready, like in all of these deals, like we talk about, it's the down payment, but then it's make ready. I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars in make ready. I have $400,000 in loans with banks to completely gut and redo three buildings. Yeah. It makes less than no sense for me to spend a second of time buying another property unless it's a massive stack of cash. Because now it's about, this is where people go sideways is it's yes. about wealth preservation and it's about optimizing the income of the asset. And that's what I'm spending my time on. That's why I spent a lot of time this year on. That's what I'm spending a lot of time next year on. You know, so when I talked to the crew, I said, we've literally got 18 months of work already charted out. So you're all safe. If the economy goes into a massive recession next year, you're safe. We're going to, we have the money set aside. We're going to go through. I have never seen workers so happy. Like they're all getting a little bit nervous and they don't need to be all of their friends that they're talking to in construction. They're seeing jobs slow down. They're seeing, you know, we don't have six days of work for you anymore. We've got four. And so for me, it's just been an awesome thing where again, now it's about optimization and making sure that we're putting ourselves in a position where we also do that to reduce the amount of calls that we get. Because in a, in a, in a rehabbed unit, we get 80% fewer calls. So that's what we're focused on. Great stuff. Love the stuff. Matt, where can people find you? Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and Instagram. My live stream is Sunday at 1130 a.m. Eastern time. And Dion? You can find me right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. And the one last thought to take away from this video for the people who made it this far into towards the end. Almost all of my deals were purchased between November and February. We're coming up on winter. And Mike said it earlier in a video today. He likes to shop where the pain is, where there's less competition. Mm -hmm. buyers disappear in the winter it's one of the reasons why prices look like they came down in the winter because there's less competition that's when we should be hunting that's where i'm actually thinking i'm going to find my next deal yeah at the end of the day folks what we will see on this channel is uh do the work works and uh if you want if that excites you subscribe like follow these two gentlemen they put out amazing stuff every week guys thank you so much thanks mike ciao